Hello everyone, I am Joshua Emmanuel O. Namoko. Today, I am going to present to you about the topic on surface area. In this presentation, we hope to learn about the definition of surface area and how to compute the surface area of a rectangular prism also known as cuboid. Surface area refers to the total area of a three-dimensional object. In other words, the surface area is the sum of all the faces of a three-dimensional figure. Suppose you are invited to a friend's birthday and you wanted to give him a gift. Let us see how much of a gift wrapper you will need to cover the gift as we discuss about surface area. To cover your rectangular prism-shaped gift box, first, you will need a rectangular piece to cover the bottom part of the box. Then, we will need two long rectangular pieces to cover the sides of the box. To cover the front and back ends, we will need two more rectangular pieces of a different size. And finally, to cover the top of the rectangle, we will need another rectangular piece exactly like the one at the bottom. We now have used six rectangle pieces to cover the complete outer surfaces of a rectangular prism. <clears throat> this show us that the outer surface of a cuboid is made up of six rectangles called the rectangular regions, also called the, shape, the faces of the rectangular prism. Those areas can be found by multiplying length times width separately then adding the six areas together. The most important thing we should know about cuboid is that it is defined by its length, height, and width. We call them L, H, and W respectively. Now, we need to understand how a surface area is computed. Remember, surface area refers to the total area of a three-dimensional object. In this case of a cuboid having six faces, it refers to the total area of all six rectangles added together. Now, let us look at each rectangle closely. The area of the rectangle we see in the front will be length, length times height. And the area of the rectangle at the back will also be length multiplied by height. So the sum of these two will be a length times height plus length times height. Next, let's, let us look at the rectangle at the side faces. The area of the rectangle at the side is height times width. Similarly, the other face is also height times width. Therefore, the sum of the areas of the side faces is height times width plus height times width. Lastly, let us look at the area of rectangle at the bottom. It is length multiplied by width. The area of the rectangle at the top will also be the same with the area of the rectangle at the bottom. Their sum will be length times width plus length times width. Now, look at each group. It will be 2 length times height, 2 height times width, and 2 length times width. So, for a cuboid with length, height, and width as dimensions, surface area will be equal to 2 length times height, 2 height times width, and 2 length times width. We observe that 2 is the common factor to all the terms. We can write the formula as 2 multiplied by length times height plus height times width plus length times width. That's how simple the co concept of a surface area is. We just need to look at the er area of each individual surface and we add them all together. Now, let us go back to your gift and let us try to compute how much gift wrapper you will need to wrap the gift box.
Suppose the height of your gift box is 2 inches, the length is 3 inches, and the width is 5 inches. Following the formula of a surface area of a cuboid, which is 2 multiplied by length times height plus height times width plus length times width. And then we assign the value of height which is 2 inches, length which is 3 inches, and width which is 5 inches. Hence, we have 2 multiplied by 3 inches times 2 inches plus 2 inches times 5 inches plus 3 inches times 5 inches. Then, multiply the numbers inside the parentheses. So, we then have 2 multiplied with 6 squared inches plus 10 squared inches plus 15 squared inches. Then, we get 12 squared inches plus 20 squared inches plus 30 squared inches. We add the numbers together. So, we get a result for the surface area of 62 squared inches. That will be the size of a gift wrapper you will need to cover your gift box. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy while learning this video presentation about surface area.